So Cole is officially staying now, which is, oh, excuse me, not a bad thing. And we can always use more friendly faces or faces that are going to drive some people crazy and other people not. And faces that will keep other faces on their toes. So that works for me. What's up here? Anybody? Anything? I know I, I just needed fresh air before I came in here originally, but... Um, there's a door here. Oh! How is this area not completely uh, what destroyed? What this place? So much room for whatever was here. Solus, I'll be right back. I just wanted to take a quick tour, if that's okay with you. Uh, before I come down and say hi. But just know... I haven't forgotten you. Oh my goodness, it just keeps going up and up, and Dorian, you're here! Brilliant, isn't it? What is? One moment you're trying to restore order in a world gone mad. That should be enough for anyone to handle, yes? Then, out of nowhere, an archdemon appears and kicks you in the head. What? You thought this would be easy? No, I was just hoping you wouldn't crush our village like an anthill. Sorry about that. Archdemons like to crush, you know. Can't be helped. Am I speaking too quickly for you? Oh, no. No, no, no. Not at all. I can keep up with the best of them. Trust me. You don't need to worry about me. I can keep up. Yes, I noticed that. Thank you. Did you know? Certainly. If you were a slack-jawed yokel, you'd already be dead. Thank you. I always assumed the elder one behind the Venatori was a magister. But this is something else completely. In Tevinta, they say the Chantry's tales of Magisters starting the Blight are just that. Tales. But here we are. One of those very Magisters. A dark spawn. Do, so, wait. In Tevinter, they say that the Chantry is lying? Sincerely? Who does the Imperium say started the Blight? You know how it is. Not us. Ah, one of those. They say dark spawn were always there. Always? Magisters and the Blight aren't even related. Is that a surprise? No. No one wants to admit they shit the bed. That is very but true. But if Corypheus is one of the Magisters who entered the Black City and he's Darkspawn, what other explanation is there? <sighs> he could be lying. I mean, he does seem a tad bit unhinged, so I wouldn't put it past him to be lying to everybody. We only know what Corypheus claims to be. True. He might be a convincing liar, or delusional, or insane. Or all but of the above. But how many delusional maniacs are going to have that knowledge? He broke open the Fade. I knew what I was taught couldn't be the whole truth, but I assumed there had to be a kernel of it, somewhere. But no, it was us all along. We destroyed the world. But it's not destroyed yet, first of all. Like... The world is still here. I mean, we're still here. We're, we're talking. Uh, we're standing in a structure that's going to protect us and, and hopefully keep us warm and all this other stuff. So the world's not destroyed, but you, you are not responsible. The last time I checked, you were not one of the Magisters, allegedly, that went into the Fade and broke everything. So I can't see how you're responsible. You didn't do anything. Those men did. A thousand years ago. True. Except that one of them is up and walking around right now. Not to mention I have idiot countrymen who would happily follow him down that path again. I have no intention of letting Corypheus win. Not without someone from Tevinta standing against him. It would have been nice if you'd helped stop Alexius. I'm sorry. But that's not how things went. No, it's not. So be it. If it's all the same to you, I'd like to stay and help the Inquisition. Well... You are very, very, very welcome to stick around. We would love to have you, so welcome aboard. We can use all the help we can get. No one will thank me, whatever happens. No one will thank you, either. You know that, yes? Oh, of course I know that. <laughs> I definitely, when I said yes to being Inquisitor a few uh, short minutes, hours, seconds, I don't know, however long ago it was, I knew nobody was going to thank me. I knew nobody was going to thank me when I got labeled as the Herald of Andraste, whether or not I was. So trust me, I'm not doing this for that. That's not why I'm doing this. I knew there was something clever about you. All I know is this. Yeah. Corypheus needs to be stopped. He does. Men like him ruined my homeland. 
I won't stand by and let him ruin the world. Oh, and congratulations on that whole leading the Inquisition thing, by the way. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Dorian, for the warm set of congratulations. I shall take it and remember it always. Uh, there, it goes up further. Are there, oh, and there's books. Okay. Oh my goodness, this place is going to take so long to learn. Ah, uh, what's up here? Oh, Liliana! This, so this is where... Ah, uh, you're going to be hanging out. I'm sorry. So am I. The names of those we lost. You must blame me for this. Um, n no, I'm blaming the ancient magister spawn thingy that tried to kill me, and not you at all. We all saw who attacked us. We know exactly who to blame. I keep wondering if I could have done something different. When the first of my lookouts went missing, I pulled the rest back, awaiting more information. If they'd stayed in the field, they could have bought us more time. I was afraid to lose my agents, and instead we lost Haven. Or we could have lost both. There's, there's no guarantee that we would have kept Haven if you had lost a few agents, Liliana. That, that's not the way that this is going to work. More likely, they would have stayed out there, died, and we would have lost Haven anyway. You don't know that. Their lives could have bought Haven a small chance. My people know their duty. They know the risks. They understand that the Inquisition may call upon them to give their lives. Our men are not disposable, though, Leliana. Like, you made a call that I support. You had to pull them back because we didn't know more. I mean, I get it. That is part of what we have all, myself included, signed up for, right? We might not make it out of this. I am very well aware of the situation that we are all in, and I'm sure most of our soldiers, if not all of them, and your agents are aware of the situation, but that doesn't mean we have to frivolously throw their lives away. You made a call, and it was the right call. Stop doubting yourself. Our people aren't tools to be used and discarded. Your instincts were right. Their lives matter. Can we afford such sentimentality? What if Corypheus... We are better than Corypheus. And, you know, I'm available to talk further whenever you want. It was good seeing you. That was not awkward at all, but slightly awkward. That's okay. That's okay. Listen, Ivy, you're the Inquisitor now. You're going to have to have tough conversations with people. And that's a wall. Okay, good. And the tough conversations will happen, and you'll be fine after. That's just the way it goes. Yes. Okay. Uh, Solus, did you want to say anything after everything that happened? As I explored the Fade, yeah? I felt the presence of an intriguing artifact in the Hinterlands. Okay. If you are willing, I would like to locate it. I have marked its location as best I could determine. Sure, absolutely. We'll talk later. Goodbye. But you didn't... You didn't want to talk about all that? Nope. Okay. That's fine. Listen, if you don't want to talk about what happened, I get it. There'll be time to talk at some other point. What is... There's another... Oh, hello. Okay, that door is blocked right now. Let's see. Oh, this door might still be open. Yes. Where is... Oh! Wow. Josephine, you found yourself a nice little office in here. I've made some inquiries into the Imperial Court. Oh? The sooner we deal with the threats to the Empress, the better. The political situation in the Empire is dangerously unstable. It will complicate matters. Everything in the Empire complicates matters. It's the Orlesian national pastime. I've heard that rumor. Turn your nose up at the grand game if you like, Commander. But we play for the highest stakes, and to the death. The oh. Court's disapproval can be as great a threat as the Venatori. Oh, good. We must be vigilant to avert disaster. Ah, uh, dangerously unstable with a grand game and is something that's more threatening than the Venatori. I, I, how dangerously unstable is dangerously unstable? Exactly what do you mean? 
How is it more dangerous than usual? The Empress is in the middle of a civil war. Oh, good. Her cousin, Grand Duke Gaspard, seeks to take her throne by force. Leliana reports that a group of elves has been sabotaging both armies, drawing out the hostilities. Orle holds Tevinter at bay. All of Thedas could be lost if the Empire falls to Corypheus. Selene is holding peace talks under the auspices of a grand masquerade. Every power in Orle will be there. It's the perfect place for an assassin to hide. Oh, wow. I don't have anything to wear uh, to something like this. Does that mean I can skip it if I don't have anything appropriate to wear? Because if that's the case, I will never, ever, ever, ever own anything appropriate to wear. A grand masquerade. I need to go shopping. We don't have enough sway with the court to arrange an invitation. Perhaps a few more alliances. Or soldiers. We need a greater presence in Orle. And soon. Okay. I'm on it. Don't worry. I'll get us a better entrance, influence, whatever you want to call it, to Orle. So they'll send us an invitation to something I don't want to go to. If I have to go to this ball, everybody's coming with me. I hope everybody knows that. I'm not doing this by myself. I can't. That'd be awful. Um, what's over here? Nothing so far. Okay. I think we've seen almost everything. Oh, right. I gotta go talk to Varric's friend. Um, I think the battlements are that. Is that what Varric said? Do you call them the battlements? I never know anymore. What are these things called? I think it's here. How did Varric get his friend here so quickly? I don't know. Who could this friend be? I mean, everybody else seems to know except me. Which is fine. I mean, I, I've accepted that a, a long time ago that most people were going to know things and I wasn't. Um, here. No, not here. Okay. That way's blocked. Um, did somebody want to tell the Inquisitor how to get to the meeting or was it one of those good luck finding your way there situations? Because if it was, oh no. Nobody told me we had a broken bridge like that. Okay. Uh, that's great. That's definitely safe. 100%. Inquisitor? The Arcanist has arrived. You should see for yourself. Hi, you must be who I've been looking for, right? You're the magical advisor? Oh, you're her. The Inquisitor. I'm Dagna. Arcanist Dagna. It's an honor, your worship. Is that it? The hand anchor mark? It's pretty. The breach was pretty, too. In a destroy-everything sort of way. <laughs> yeah, uh, it, it kind of was, now that you mention it. Um, I was kind of poking around Skyhold, and then all of a sudden they said, you had arrived, so I'm so very happy uh, to finally meet you. Welcome. I welcome you to the Inquisition and look forward to your contribution. Me too. I've heard some impossible things. Oh? I love impossible things. Those are the best to make, well, possible. I've looked at Harris devices. The precision is fantastic, but typical. Mundane. Old thinking. This what now? No disrespect meant to the classical trades, but you need a new perspective. I've made adjustments. As long as I keep making them, you can craft just about anything. Almost safely. Almost safely. Well, almost safely is uh, pretty much the best I can ask for around here. Um, why did you agree to join out of curiosity? 
You were quick to join the Inquisition. Is there something you want? How could I waste a chance to get close to you? And what? Corypheus? My oh. goodness. And actual physical rifts in the veil? Also, dwarves? We don't dream. So, when mages talk about it, I can only... Well, dream what it would be like. So there's that, and all the things you'll probably find, and what I'll get to make. The rules are different here. They are. Plus, you're paying me a lot. Like, wow, so much. <laughs> well, I'm glad then that you're happy with the compensation that I think Josephine it was, um, set you up with. Can I ask where you studied magic? Where does a dwarf go to study magical theory? Get out. I asked myself that question for years. Turns out, not in Orzmar. I had to start at a circle. The circle? I had to fight to do it. Everyone said I couldn't. Everyone. I swept floors and libraries, traded rooms for tomes. I met outsiders like me, new thinkers. If there's something to know about magic, I'll find it. There's no barriers to what magic can do, Inquisitor. No matter what they say. Well, then, I am very happy to uh, have you here. You said you noticed my anchor. You seemed impressed by the anchor. What does it look like to you? I heard what everyone says what you heard Corypheia say. That's a long chain of who said what. That is, yeah. To me, it says key. But keys do a lot of things. Open, lock, switch. Some open one thing, some open everything. It sounds like Corypheus made it to open. But it looks like you can use it to close. It may be that simple. Hmm. It sure is pretty. Wish I could see through it. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your input, and it was very nice to meet you once again. I'll talk to you soon. I'll see you later, Dagna. I can't wait. Same. Uh, Harriet, before I get going, is everything all right? Is there anything you want to talk about? Or I didn't feel... I don't feel like we really checked in. I've walked away from too many burning buildings for one lifetime. This place, though. Yeah? It'll be all right. Yeah, well. It's Inquisitor now, isn't it? Unfortunately. I'll take some getting used to. Yeah, for you and me both. You think it's strange to say. It's stranger to hear. Don't let it go to your head. I won't. We need you level. Don't worry. Everyone just got a big hard reason to hate Corypheus. And we already did, but we didn't have a name. And now we do. You're the surprise, not him. Well, I'm happy to be a surprise when and where I can be. I'll talk to you soon. I'll be back later. I'll be here. Good. Good luck, Harriet. Okay, well, say hi to the new Arcanist. Check. I didn't even know that that was a thing to do on the to-do list until Liliana pulls me aside. There's something new on the to-do. Now I really and truly need to find Varric's friend. I actually think I know where I'm going this time. Maybe? Possibly. And now we've got two new things. There's like, what, Darkspawn Liliana was saying on the Storm Coast? Oh, good, because that's fun. And then the Fal- some place called the Falamire? It sounds awful, but apparently they need us. <sighs> Does anybody not need us? I don't know, but honestly, that's kind of sort of okay, I think. Also, it'll get me out of here and me getting some other people out of here while they try to clean up. Ah, Varric! I'm here! Sorry that took so long. Meetings. All that other stuff. Did you know being the Inquisitor comes with a ton of meetings? Because I didn't know that until I accepted the position. Also, there are a lot of holes in that roof over there. Hopefully that gets fixed soon. Inquisitor, meet Hawk. Hawk. The champion of Kirkwall. Though I don't use that title much anymore. Hawk, the Inquisitor. I figured you might have some friendly advice about Corypheus. You and I did fight him, after all. You've already dropped half a mountain on the bastard. I'm sure anything I can tell you pales in comparison. I don't know. I've heard stories about you. There's got to be at least one or two things said stories that I've heard about you didn't cover that could actually help me. Oh, I don't know. You did save a city from a horde of rampaging Kunari. I don't see how that really applies. Or is there a horde of rampaging Kunari I don't know about? Well... There's a Kunari. He almost qualifies as a horde all by himself. Fortunately, he's on our side. So then, what can I tell you? 
Varric said that you fought Corypheus before. Fought and killed. The Grey Wardens were holding him, and he somehow used his connection to the Darkspawn to influence them. Corypheus got into their heads, messed with their minds, turned them against each other. If the Wardens have disappeared, they could have fallen under his control again. Is it reversible? Like, you said again, which would imply that there was a way to end it before? If that's what happened to the Wardens, do you think we can free them? It's possible. But we need to know more first. I've got a friend in the Wardens. He was investigating something unrelated for me. His name is Alistair. But the last time we spoke, he was worried about corruption in the Warden ranks. Since then, nothing. Corypheus would certainly qualify as corruption in the ranks. Did your friend disappear with them? No. He told me he'd be hiding in an old smuggler's cave near Crestwood. Crestwood? I don't think I've heard of Crestwood before. Um, can I ask what you two were investigating? If you didn't know about Corypheus, what were you doing with the Wardens? The Templars in Kirkwall were using a strange form of lyrium. It was red. I'd hoped the Wardens could tell me more about it. We've encountered red lyrium. Corypheus was using it to corrupt the Templars and turn them into his slaves. Hopefully my friend in the Wardens will know more. Thank you for all this information. It's worth a shot, and it's more than I had a few minutes ago. I'll take any lead I can get at the moment. Good. I'll do whatever I can to help. Thank you. Corypheus is my responsibility. What? I thought I'd killed him before. This time, I'll make sure of it. Inquisitor. I don't know if the fact that you killed Corypheus the first time and didn't succeed or kind of succeeded and then didn't succeed makes him your responsibility. He kind of makes it, it kind of makes it an everybody responsibility. But anyways, do you mind if I ask you a few questions before I head out? Um, can you tell me about the fight with Corypheus? I'd love to know more. You said you thought you killed Corypheus. The Grey Wardens had him imprisoned. They used my father's blood in a ritual to seal Corypheus inside but he could still reach out and influence the Warden's thoughts. He sent them after me, and I didn't just think I killed him. When the fight was done, he was dead on the ground. Maybe his tie to the Blight somehow brought him back, or maybe it's old Tevinter magic, but he was dead. I swear it. Old Tevinter magic sounds so terrifying, you have no idea. Well, actually, you probably do have an idea. What has Varric told you about everything out of curiosity? I assume Varric's been feeding you information about the Inquisition. What did he say about me? Only good things, I promise. What? I was a little surprised, actually. Why? Varric isn't one for religion in general, but he thinks highly of the Inquisition. I think the exact phrase was, has a good shot at fixing Blondie's mess. That was a really good Varric impersonation. Like, a really good one. Do you spend a lot of time working on that? Uh, cause if not, you could definitely take that act on the road after all this is over. Do you mind if I ask where you've been all this time? Because I know Cassandra was out looking for you. Where did you go after the mages rebelled? I heard the Chantry might be sending an exalted march to Kirkwall to put down the rebellion. I hoped that leaving would save lives and force the Divine to divide her forces to come after me. As it turned out, I needn't have bothered. All the circles started rising up, and the exalted march never came. Huh. I didn't even realize that that had been an option of sorts for them. Um, why are you alone? Where are all your friends? Don't you normally have, like, according to Varric's stories, you have, like, everybody with you? I heard you had family and friends in Kirkwall. Where are they now? When the Wardens began acting strangely, I had my friend Aveline take my brother out of the free marches. Smart. Isabella and I never believed in being tied down. Oh. When I had to go into hiding, she understood. We'll see each other again. Until then, she'll be having fun, but hopefully not too much fun. Hopefully not without you. Uh, last question, I promise, though. Um, I'm curious about Anders. Is that is that weird, but I am. I'd like to know more about Anders. What was he like? I don't know if there ever was just an Anders. He was crazy. By the end, there was nothing left in him except this insane need to start a war no one could win. Oh. Wow, that, um, that's dreadful. But thank you for your time, Hawk. We'll talk later. I'll meet you at Crestwood. Okay, listen, I, before I met with you and knew it was you, um, I got a few different 
things that the advisors need me to go look at, like ASAP, including like the Falami or stuff like that. So I'll meet you in Crestwood. I might just be a few minutes behind you, given that the Inquisitor doesn't get any rest ever. So good to see you. Safe trip to Crestwood. See you there. I'm going to go make sure Cassandra doesn't know that you're here because I have a feeling if Cassandra does know that you're here, Varric's about to die. Um, possibly a slow, painful death. Possibly not a slow, painful death. So I need to go make sure Varric is still alive. Because, uh, yeah, I don't know if, if there's a way to explain that to everybody else otherwise. And we kind of need Varric. Even though I think at this point, Cassandra would try to convince me differently. Um, Cassandra, you don't look too happy, honey. 